guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be doing a um q a but it's um i put a poll up on my instagram um saying ask me anything so it's just going to be a lot of random questions about anything so things you just want to know so i'm just going to get into it and just answer them the first question is is birth as bad as expected um well to be honest people i think people do over exaggerate it a bit like when they say that the pain is really really bad but you don't remember the pain as soon as it's over that's it over like you don't have any other pain well any other pain like the contractions the contractions are definitely the worst part of giving birth the contractions are definitely the worst part and um, for me anyway everybody has their own opinions but the contractions were definitely the worst part for me um Right, another one. Um, would Alia sleep in her own room when you move out? Um, yep, Alia will sleep in her own room when we move out, but not until she's a bit older, obviously. And um, when she's old enough to go into our cot, then yeah, she will be um, sleeping in her own room. Um, what's the best thing about being a mum? Um, definitely watching um, them grow and just become into their own little person and watching our personality come out as well um, she just started um, talking like telling stories and smiling and it's just so amazing it just makes like all the hard work like so worth it like when you see them that they're so happy and they're just doing amazing it, it just makes it so worth it um, Um, how are you all getting on due to COVID and all that? Um, we're good, yeah, we're doing amazing. I think I had uh, like a three week break from social media. Um, that's just because, there's no reason to it, it's just because um, I just wanted to take some time just and just enjoy the moments with um, Alia and Lucas and just take time for my family. But I'm back now and I'm going to try and post as much as I can. Um, it's hard with a newborn as well, but hopefully um, it'll work out. Um, what would you like to do by the end of the year? Be in my own house. Um, yeah, I would. Uh, that's what my goal for the end of the year is to have our own house. Um, but yeah, um, are you having? Are you? Are you planning on having any more kids? Two seconds. I'm just gonna get Leo. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. Right. So Leo is going to join me for the rest of the video. It looks like. Um, but um, two seconds. Don't you dummy? Yeah. Right, so um the, I'll just start that question again. Um so are you planning on having any more kids and your daughter is gorgeous? Thank you. And um we ha we aren't planning on having any more just now, but um we definitely do want more kids. Um but yeah, definitely do want more kids. Not right now though. Um What football club do you support? and um, we support Rangers. Um what was your reaction when you found out you were pregnant? You are amazing parents. Thank you. Um, I think I've answered this in like nearly every single q and I've done since I did find out I was pregnant, but I'll answer it again anyway. Um, I was really excited and I didn't believe it at first, so I took like millions of pregnancy tests. Um, I didn't actually believe it until like the first scan when I actually seen that there was a heartbeat. I just never believed it. Um, but yeah, I was over the moon and so excited and yeah, she's definitely the best thing that's ever happened. Yes, she are. Yeah. <laughs> um, another one. Is Alia been settling well? Yep, Alia is an amazing baby. Um, we're so lucky that we've got an amazing baby. And I'm so lucky to be your mummy. Yeah, I yeah. am. She's just looking at me. Um, but yeah, everybody, we're all good, yeah, thank you. Um, how long were you trying for Elio? Um, I think we were trying for about, so from March to May, so at the start of May is when I fell pregnant, so not that long to be honest. But everyone's different, so don't think that that's how long you need to try and then it'll happen because everybody is honestly this different. It can take people years to get fall pregnant. Um, another one why did you want to be a young mum um, ever since I was younger I've always wanted to ha have my own family if you know me then you know that I love kids and I love babies um, so I have always wanted my own kids 
Um, obviously, I didn't know when it was going to happen, but I definitely did know that I did want kids. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I'm happy. Um, um, how many more babies do you and Lucas want? Um, if it was up to me, I would I have as many as my body could carry, but obviously it's up to Lucas as well. But um, I think we want maybe like um, five or six babies. It will five or six. I think we want maybe five or six kids, but it just depends. You never know what will happen. Um, but yeah, we definitely do want more. Um, okay, and some more questions. Um, how was your birth? Um, I've done a birth story, so if you actually want to see like how my birth went or know how my birth went, then if you just go look at that, um, then you'll be able to. Uh, then that will tell you. Um, how my birth went. Um, oh, um, how long did you bleed for after you had Aaliyah? Um, so I actually only bled for like pro like loads of blood for like the first the first day, and then after that it was just like the end of a period for about the first week, and then that was it. Um, but yeah, that's um, I think I think I'm very lucky that that happened. Um, so. Yeah. Um, how are you finding lockdown with a newborn? Um, to be honest with you, it is the most boringest thing ever and sometimes, some days it does get really hard to find motivation to do anything but obviously I have a baby so I have to get up and do it even if I don't want to. Um, so I do, I just get up and get everything done and it makes you feel so much better when you're actually being productive and doing stuff because if you just feel sorry for yourself and lie in your bed all day you're just going to feel like rubbish all day um, but yeah lockdown is really hard especially when um, like you want family to meet your baby and stuff And but hopefully it'll all end soon and then everything will hopefully get back to somewhat normal um, but yeah um, how much did I lay away when she was born? Um, she was £6.9 ounces and um, yeah. And now she is, um, well the last time she was weighed was the 22nd of, the 22nd of February was the last time she was weighed and she was £7.12 so just now she'll probably be about eight pounds something maybe yeah she'll definitely be eight pounds something i'm not sure yet but she gets weighed again um next week so i'll find out find out then um and yeah i think that's all the questions that i'm gonna answer so just now um so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you for watching bye Oh, and um, leave any other questions that you have that I haven't answered in here in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them all. Thank you.